So anyone to buy stuff or, you know, to persuade, there's two aspects. There's the authority piece and there's experience piece. Yes. So all these kids and all these fucking money kids get in here with experience, try to get authority. Yep. So authority is influence. Yep. And they think that you gain authority by the Rolex, the Lambos, being in Dubai and so on and so forth. Whereas you actually get authority by living the type of content you are, like being that person, being genuinely interested in it. So like mm. I can tell, speaking to you, that you're a big guy on brand and your impressions and being like someone who's real and authentic. Say with me, at our big, these are big like moral codes, right? Mm. On the other side, you have the experience. And this is where like you have to do the work, get client results, no mm. bullshit, and so on and so forth. And most kids that come into the space are bullshitting on the authority and don't have any experience because they're not mm. they're not good at it, right? Mm. Whereas like I've been doing this for years, you've been doing this for years, you've taken a lot of lessons in the music industry, brought it into the online business space. So I think that's a huge piece that most people lack because they see the money. Mm. SaaS is hot, agencies are hot, mm. Iman's coming out a new fucking course, let's buy it, right? But they're missing the fundamentals and that's why I think most people don't last, right? Is that I can fundamentally record, do this every day yeah. for 10 years. I can 100% do it because this is in large alignment with what who I am. Yeah. And what I'm saying uh, every day is I actually back myself and you know, I actually believe it. And I could be proved wrong over time and I change my opinion and I'm, and I'm vocal on that because everything I do is record, right? But fundamentally, I'm living in alignment with those things. Mm. So I can play on to this for many years, you know, whereas most people don't have that so short side. And we spoke about this about guests, right? There's obviously big guests that I want to get on the show. I'm like, ah, I get them in three years. I get them in four years. Because I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, this is the attractor energy. that, And this is a big part of the marketing as well. And it's what you started that last kind of thought with. It's about service. It's about giving. The question to ask, even in a kind of selfish way, is how can I serve? How can I give? How can, if you ask yourself that question, moment to moment, day to day, week to week, how can I be the most valuable to others? That is a great question to ask. It's a great question to ask, and it will change over time. It will change. The more skills you develop, the more experience you have along the way, it will change. But when you ask that question, the rest falls into place because people are getting value from you. No shit. So that's, I mean, you can talk about these kids and, you know, I, I see, it's something that I've had to sort of deal with as well because they exist in the same space as you. And then I see some of their ads or I see someone on social media and I'm like, it's not me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, because I'm on social media, I'm putting out content that has um, echoes or their content sort of echoes some of the things. And then you have to kind of, oh, hang on. Like, well, no, I've done this, this, and this. They literally recorded on a shitty phone in their mum's bedroom. But it, it, they get hold of, like, they copy. So it kind of sounds the same. You know, it rhymes. They don't have their own identity, right? And this is what it goes back to. Is that, and there's nothing wrong with that in, in the beginning because I like to say that I stand on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. So like in a career aspect, I did it for many years. I was looking at people that were moved very quickly. Yeah. And then as an entrepreneur, I was looking at guys who've done this model that I do pretty well mm. and like big influence of me. There's a big podcast that I've taken influence from. But then you kind of carve out your own field. Mm. You get me? So like there's not many people that are doing these types of podcasts in Bangkok right now. That's on 185 podcasts, right? Just, there's very little. So that's when you become a category of one. Yes. So if you imagine like a head and shoulders, you stand on the shoulders and then you become the head and it's a category of one. Yeah. But that takes years. Yeah. And like the way I describe it is that I'll be fundamentally someone different in an extra 180 episodes, mm -hmm. but that's part of the evolution. So like if you were to look at those kids and we're jumping around a lot, and it is, it is really valuable in this. So if you're looking at those kids and how they present themselves, there'll be loads of things to talk about as well. How do they present themselves online? What are they getting wrong? Like, what are mm -hmm. these new age entrepreneurs getting wrong at how they present themselves on Instagram and other platforms? That's a great question. One, if you haven't got any experience, but you've got some knowledge or you've maybe something's worked for yourself, give away that information and get the people results for free. I did that. You did that. Three, first three clients were free. Three clients are free. So take clients on and help them for free. Homozi says that as well, or five or whatever he says. What if you can take that step forward rather than getting them to sign up, sign a contract, whatever, through the content you're putting out, through trainings you're putting out, can you get them results for free? Because now you have authority. 
now you're respected, now you have authority and people are going to listen to you. And they've taken that first step with you and you've got them results. And you can't fake that. There's no faking that. If you can get someone that, those first results, they're going to be like, and this for me, this is the point of marketing. Really, I think this is the most effective type of marketing. It's like, right, well, here's the first step. Let's do it. Let's do it. This works. And then when people get those results, they view you as the authority figure and they're going to be like, right, well, what's next? And then that's when you start a conversation. They've, you've already got the trust. You don't really have to sell anyone because they already trust you. You've already given them so much um, that they're ready to take the next step. So I think if you're a kid starting out, don't focus on the, hey, do you want to add 30K a month MRR? Like I haven't. <laughs> like, what? I see like it all the time. Focus on what it is you can actually help people with and help them for free, even if you don't have to cite you sign someone as a client if you want for free or not. Help them through your content, actually start getting people results. And then, and you're going to learn so much. Look, it's, it's, it's hard to say because everyone's is so nuanced. Everyone's in different, you can like, you can speak in general terms though, right? Yeah, you can speak in general terms. So, I mean, I think that's the general, you know, get people results first, lead with value. But again, when you, if you get people in for free, you're going to learn so much and you learn from mm. more because it's free, right? Yeah. So my first like, um, Paying clients were like six hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. I think it was even less, six hundred dollars a month for three months. But when that happened, I was learning not as freely. It's a constrained, right? A constrained brain. Sorry, uh, constrained like mentally because you're like just get results, like, just get results. Mm -hmm. Whereas you get much more flexibility and so on and so forth from there. Mm -hmm. You can scale up as a result.